For us sledders, the most exciting time of the winter season is when we get to pack up our truck and trailers and head off to an epic riding destination with our friends and family. But far too often, we're not truly prepared. Sure, loading up our sleds and riding gear along with an extra can of fuel for the sleds and truck may seem like enough, but when our minds are clouded with anticipation of the ride, we can become lazy in our preparation for the unknown. If you're not renting sleds at your destination, chances are you've got a pickup truck to pull your trailer, and the box of your pickup truck can often become the dumping grounds for anything and everything that you remember last minute. To better organize your truck's storage, a unique product like this adjustable cargo bar from Steadymate is excellent at separating hazardous material like gas cans and oil from your luggage. It securely locks in place, keeping your gas cans from flopping around and inevitably tipping over and leaking. The cargo bar collapses down to 40 inches for easy storage under the backseat of your truck. Now with the truck secure, we're going to move on to the trailer and tying down your sled. When it comes to sled tie downs, I've got two options for you. One is a ratchet style, the other a cam buckle, and both of them have their advantages. On wheeled vehicles that bounce and roll, I almost always use a ratchet style tie strap like this cinch tight too, as it makes soaking up the suspension travel and wheel flex much easier. However, with a sled, I prefer the ease of a self-locking cam buckle like this cinch tight 4. It's less prone to freezing up, will still work if the strap becomes frozen and doesn't require you to remove your gloves to lock or release, a big benefit on those extra cold mornings. Proper securement of a sled is from all four corners of the vehicle, but if you've tied a sled down before, you know that can be a little tricky without damaging the paint or graphics on the vehicle, so that's where a product like the soft loop comes into play. If you've got a precarious tie down job and you're concerned about where to hook on without damaging your ride, soft loops will save you the aggravation of opening up the trailer and finding paint worn off from a long trip, because the last thing you want is your new ride looking worn out. The final area of preparation that I want to talk about is a worst case scenario, and I know that nobody wants to ever admit that their truck, trailer, or snowmobile have ever broken down or got stuck. We all need to face it. Stuck happens. Putting a stud through your cooler, blowing a belt only to realize you forgot to put in a spare, running out of gas, seizing your motor, or more likely just getting stuck are all potential issues that can and do occasionally arise. And even if it's not you who's stuck, being prepared to help can also be a lifesaver for others out on the trail. A tow strap will fit pretty much anywhere on a snowmobile and is the cheapest and easiest way to ensure that you get home or back on the trail. Now this strap from Steadymate is made of ultra strong nylon webbing and features snap hooks on either end to ensure it doesn't come loose. When towing a sled, it's always advised to pull from the snowmobile's spindles and not the ski tips or the bumper, as this can cause more damage to the sled. And remember, you and your buddy won't be going anywhere fast until you remove the belt from the broken down sled. With the track free to turn, tow your sled to the nearest road crossing where you can then load the sled and keep the trail clear for moving traffic. The last thing to consider is a backup plan for your tow vehicle. If you've had to drive down sketchy fire roads or trailer on icy road conditions, you've no doubt seen your fair share of trucks and trailers in the ditch. Recovery straps for trucks are super handy to have under your seat for getting or giving a little pull. They feature a mildly stretchy material that won't damage your vehicle from pulling. And in case of the worst, a vehicle recovery strap in 20 or 25 foot length. Steadymate vehicle recovery straps can accommodate five to almost 11,000 pounds of pulling force to help get your truck back on the road. While potential problems are the last thing that you want to think about before heading out on your winter adventure, it doesn't cost much to be prepared, and it might just be the reason that you make it home at the end of the day.